Now you can see why I like this system versus the two main sheet bridle system on my cat. On my cat, if I want to ease, just ease the main sheet on my double A, A frame one, if I ease the windward one, the boom actually goes up and opens and twists the thing, so I've actually got to then go and pull down the leeward one. And to try and keep the boom at the same height or the twist the same, it's near impossible. Um, so it's very, very difficult to trim. much I hate this main sheet system <laughs> but here is the perfect example as to why when I say it's dangerous I have not been able to show you the situation why it's dangerous so here we are we have to get from point A to point B free wind is 90 degrees apparent wind 60 degrees um, and I'm in this situation now that the waves are beam on okay they're coming onto my side slightly uh, interesting moments um, but if we get a big gust now and I need to dump the main sheet which one do I dump the windward one or the lured one because if I dump the windward one okay Harry you want to dump the windward sheet okay just let it go all together Watch the boom. That's it. That's as far as it went. Not depowered at all. Okay, pull it back on. Alright, now I'm at the lure sheet. If I'm sitting at the lure sheet and I dump the main sheet. Alright, oh, there it goes. Oh, look. I'm still powered up because the windward sheet has it. A little bit more deep out, but I'll tell you what, when a gust comes through, you're still going to be shooting your pants. So. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't install this system on your boat. That's not cool. As soon as I figure out how to, uh, get a tracking traveler on here it's going to be changed out and we're going to have a look at the difference between dropping traveler on the gunboat which had a main sheet track and a traveler and all normal so mine, right, we're going, whoa, try and hold everything here. Uh, we're going upwind, and I want to move the boom from there to there. Now let's see the process. So on the other boat, I pressed a button, and the traveler moved sideways. If I wasn't pressing a button, I'd use the traveler line, and it would move to there. Now, the mission that it is, trying to trim this thing, to move the boom 100 mil that way and the worst part is I'll move it that way and I won't have the same sheet tension as what I just had so it's a major pain in the ass so let's have a look so I need to ease this one 
these are I'm gonna guess about that much so it's not even accurate I you know it's very much a guessing game then I go and pull on this side here winding 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 okay so there you go I've just moved the traveler but so I've moved it as far as I want but now I've got to go and check to make sure I haven't changed the trim of my main and whether the twist is still all okay and no my twist is not okay because the head of my sail is stalling now so I need to ease this off again and I need to ease a little bit of this one off Go and check again. So, yeah, sort of where I think I want it. Now I'm going to check. Yeah, now my twist is better flying in. So there you go. That was easing the boom down that far. Major pain in the ass. So I had to ease that one, tighten that one. Found it was in the wrong, so I had to ease that one again. And I ease a little bit more of that one, tighten that one on till I got it all right, instead of just easing one rope. So, anyway, there you go. That's why you want the other main sheet system and not this one. <laughs>